I just, oh, I just can't imagine this. I just, it just tears me up that somebody would do this to a child. It just breaks my heart. Developing tonight, a disturbing discovery during a routine check at a home in Effingham County. Two teenagers were found buried behind their own home in Guyton. News 3 was there as deputies were combing through the evidence. And we have continuing coverage tonight with our Darius Johnson. A gruesome and shocking discovery after investigators say they were called out to perform a welfare check. Well, that check quickly turned into a death investigation, leaving two teens dead who were never reported missing. How sick can somebody be to a child? I just, if you don't want a child, don't have them. And if you got them and you don't want them, give them up. Don't do it this way. This is wrong. This is against the good Lord's work. A tip is what led investigators to this home on Rosebud Place. They were told 14-year-old Mary Crocker was missing and believed to be dead. She hadn't been seen since October. Investigators questioned everyone inside the home. Deputies say the family lied, saying Mary went to live with her mother. When deputies returned Thursday morning, they discovered Mary buried just feet away from her home, and her brother's body was found nearby. Elwin Crocker Jr. hadn't been seen since November 2016. Authorities believe he was killed at that time, only discovered now, two years later after his death. He would have been 16. Neither of them were reported missing. Deputies have charged three in connection. The biological father, 49-year-old Elwin Crocker, the stepmother, 33-year-old Candace Crocker, and the step-grandmother, 50-year-old Kim Wright. They say the three are being charged with concealing the death of another and cruelty to children in the first degree. Deputies say the child of the stepmother was found alive inside the home. He was taken to the hospital to be checked out. I've been doing this 41 years. And a while ago, I almost broke down in tears. It's that bad. I just, I cannot understand how you do children like this. Horrible. And right now you can see where investigators still remain on the scene. They say more charges could be filed for those three after learning the results of the autopsy. Reporting in Effingham County, Darius Johnson, WSAV News 3. And at this time, it's unclear how these children were killed. And at last check, authorities were still trying to notify the biological mother of the kids. We're told she lives in South Carolina.